Hello, beautiful soul. I'm Sharon Spenson, Spenson Hypnosis, and welcome to my series, What Hypnosis Is and What Hypnosis Isn't, as told from the perspective of a practicing hypnotist. I have been working with clients since 2005, getting paid for it since 2006, and have worked with over a thousand plus clients in getting happier, improving their lives, achieving different goals and dreams. And in this series, I'm addressing commonly asked questions that I get when people find out I'm a hypnotist or they come to me as a hypnotist. The first question I answer is, can you make me quack like a duck? Can you control me? And you might be surprised by the answer. The next in the series, I address what the heck is hypnosis? Um, so, so again, go back to the other videos, check them out. Uh, my hope is that it opens up your mind to this very powerful, powerful modality that can be used to improve and change your life. When people come to me, one of the first questions they ask as they explore the possibility of um, hiring me to support them in overcoming their problem, challenge, or issue is, okay, well, how long do sessions last? How, how long am I going to have to see you to get over this and to achieve what I desire and want? And the answer is kind of frustrating because it depends. I can't give a cut and dry answer that each person is different and there's so many different variables. So to give you an idea, let's say you go to a personal trainer because you have a desire to run a marathon and you want to do it in record time. Okay, first off, where are you starting from? Let's say you're a 19-year-old that um, plays football and is very active in other parts of their life that you're coming from a different place than somebody that say is a 60 year old. They haven't exercised in years and they have a goal to run a marathon. Um, so, so where are you starting from? The 60 year old, their progress is going to look very much uh, a lot slower because they have to address different core things like their core um, that they probably have to learn to to use their body in different ways because they are out of balance. Maybe a bad knee on one side has put something out of sync and balance on the other side, or one part is overdeveloped and another is, is, is underdeveloped. Well, even though there's a lot happening or, and a lot going on, maybe that the personal trainer is working with, with that individual, it might seem like very so, slow progress. But along the way, so many beautiful things can be unfolding and happening. So hypnosis, it's like, do you want to run that marathon and just finish it? Do you want to do it in record time? Do you want to develop patterns of showing up for yourself, patterns of overcoming the uncomfortableness when you know something feels right? so that you have, um, you want to develop new positive mindsets. Well, it depends on where you're coming from. And it's the same thing with your goal or your desire. So for instance, I've had people come to me to release smoking and they've had it happen in one session and, and maybe they go about and it's like, oh, Sharon's a miracle worker. I did it in one session. I never, ever wanted another cigarette or even the desire to have one after that. Um, and then somebody comes to me and it takes them six months, but so many beautiful things are unfolding and happening along the way. So for instance, I think of one woman, um, it took her, I think it was like six or eight months coming once a week working with me, but we were working with a lot of different things. It turned out that the cigarettes were used to kind of like a smoke screen to kind of help keep her at a distance from relationship problems, to protect herself in different ways that it kind of was woven together with a drinking problem that she had. So that along the way, there's so many beautiful things that unfolded. So we could say, oh my gosh, 
that was a failure. It took six months to achieve and accomplish, but it depends. And it depends on how open and receptive you are to the process. So for instance, somebody that comes uh, to the personal trainer that's been trained up to think of uh, exercises, maybe a punishment or something bad that they have to do or um, looks at it in a really negative way is going to have a very different experience than somebody that comes with, um, I love I love to exercise. I love what it does for me. It's a way to de-stress. Um, that they're going to have a, a very different experience in their results. So that um, maybe the personal trainer helps them see things differently so that they open up more to the process. And it's, it's the same thing with hypnosis. So um, to, to give you an idea of how long my sessions last, it can be very different than other hypnotists. Some, uh, a common session might be they'll work for 40 minutes to 60 minutes and somewhere in between. That can be very typical, but it's not that unusual to find hypnotists that work differently. Like, so for instance, I go 90 minutes. That's my preference, especially when I'm working with somebody that has a very serious condition, um, that they're struggling mentally, that they, they have something uh, where they're in a crisis situation that I like having the 90 minutes, um, usually once a week, sometimes three times a week with certain situations for a limited amount of time. Uh, and then once they, it's like they've reached a certain level, they've got these beautiful mental patterns of thought and habit in their life that maybe we'll only meet together for 15 minutes uh, once a week or, or 30 minutes, or they'll just come back in every now and then. So it all depends that uh, it's not unusual for me to have clients that just continue to see me. I've got clients that um, I've been working with once a week for uh, over 10 years that that's not unusual because it's not that they have, um, it's like they need that kind, kind of time to achieve their goals, but we never ever get it done that we can continue to take it further to more expansive places. And then I've had other people that came to me for one or, or three sessions and they got just what they wanted. Like for instance, people that have come for migraine headaches or, or phobias, and then I give people a recording to listen to so that if they start to have any of those symptoms start to come back up again, they can re-listen to it. So it depends. Like one woman, she wanted um, uh, to, she wanted to stop having alcohol control her life and mess it up. She had lost her driver's license. She was being... Um, her boyfriend was threatening to kick her out unless something changed. She lost her job because of drinking. We worked together for a year and a half. And to me, uh, it, the, the tell sign is, are you where you're at? And when a crisis comes, are you able to maintain that? Because challenges inevitably crop up and come into our lives. What good does it do you if you stop smoking, but then you turn it into a negative habit of overeating so that you end up gaining 50 or 100 pounds? So again, it depends. Um, what are your goals? Uh, what's your commitment um, and all these different variables. But for me, what I know is hypnosis, it, it, at least the way I do it, it's going to improve your life. So I hope you explore the possibility and check it out further. Okay. Be sure to listen to the rest of my, my series. If you haven't followed my channel, I hope you do. That encourages me to make more hypnosis series to offer up to you. I also have another series, The Joy Shot, where I teach you self-hypnosis and guide you into mini hypnosis sessions because that can be a super powerful tool to not only feel good, but to improve different areas in your life. All right. Blessings and love.